So in this video, we've got another robot vacuum cleaner, this time by I Martin, and this is model C800. You can currently find this on Amazon for $169.99, but you can also save $10 with the coupon below. But I'll leave a link in the description below with current pricing and more information. And this is meant for hard floors to medium pile carpet. Just some quick specs here on the back of the box. Suction power is 1600 PA. It does have a 2600 milliamp hour battery, which should give you up to about 120 minutes of cleaning. The dustbin size is 550 milliliters. And like most other robot vacuum cleaners, you can schedule the cleaning and it does have auto charging. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we've got. So you do get an owner's manual and warranty information, sponge filter and high efficiency filter, pretty typical remote control and two AAA batteries, your power adapter, cleaning tool. It also comes with four side brushes and of course the charging dock where on the top there's a spot to put your remote control and your charging indicator light. And you can see on the back there is a spot where you can tuck in the excess cable from your power adapter. And you've got some nice little rubber feet here to keep it from moving. As far as the robot vacuum itself, it actually feels somewhat lightweight Looks very similar to the D-Bot or Amari robot sweeper that I reviewed earlier. The only thing on the top is your power button. On the front, you've got your anti-collision sensors. And you've got a rubber strip here on the front of the bumper. And then you've got a sensor on each side of the dustbin. The dustbin is a pretty typical size for this type of robot sweeper. I wish they would make the opening a little bit larger. This is pretty comparable to the Amari robot sweeper I reviewed earlier. And you can access the filter here on the top. And then of course to empty it, you just hit the button here in the back. And the side brushes should just pop right on. So here of course you have your main driving wheels, charging contacts, universal wheel that swivels. The nice thing is you can remove this panel here if you have to replace the battery. Of course here on the back is your power switch right next to the main cleaning brush. And you can see it is a rubber mixed with nylon brush. And then you get three different anti-drop sensors. Okay, so my first impressions are, this seems very comparable to some of the other robot cleaners that I've reviewed so far. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this charged up, test this out the rest of the week. I'll show you the cleaning patterns, what kind of stuff they can pick up, come back and give you my final thoughts. So now that I've been testing out the iMartine robot vacuum cleaner this past week, I have mostly positive results, especially since this one is a little cheaper than some of the competitors. The remote control is basically the same as some of the others I've tested where you set the clock and pick a time that it cleans and then it just repeats every day at that same time. Nothing too fancy and not as nice as some of the ones that use a mobile app, but it definitely gets the job done. The first test I like to do is the edge cleaning mode to see if it goes down the steps. And luckily I haven't had one robot sweeper take a dive down them yet. It also seems to clean fairly decent around the edges without too much trouble. 
The spot cleaning mode also works pretty good. It did take a little while to clean up small dog food when I was testing, mainly because it kept pushing the pieces further away, but eventually it did pick them up. It also seems to pick up dog hair fairly easily, but don't expect it to pick up large amounts of dog hair or large pieces of dog food. This is more of a light to medium duty robot sweeper. And even though I let the brush get covered in way too much dog hair when testing this out, I have to admit it did cut off pretty easily with a pair of scissors, which I always find to work better than the included cleaning tool. I also tested out the single room mode in my office that has carpet, but it seemed pretty inconsistent on the pattern it was taking. I feel like once I switched the mode to auto, it started to cover the area a little bit better, but maybe I didn't let it run long enough to cover the entire room. So if you are looking for a budget robot vacuum cleaner, I would definitely recommend the iMartine C800. Just keep in mind like with other robot vacuums in this category, you will need to empty the dustbin and clean the main brush on a regular basis if you expect those floors to stay clean. Right now there's only one spot where my robot cleaners seem to get stuck and that's under my recliner. And that's no different with the iMartine C800, but for me that's not too bad I guess. Oh and don't forget to pick up anything on the floor it may sweep up like cables, small toys, etc. Because trust me, it'll pick them up. Seriously, it'll pick up anything on the floor. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.